Hi everyone. Let's talk about something really interesting. Um, it's called creating custom context menus for your specific extensions. So let me show um, how can we achieve that. So for now I will be taking an example of SQL file and the text file. So I have one demo text.txt file here and another one being simple SQL file that contains select now statement. So often, depending on which role you are in, uh, you will be working with specific extension types. And for example, let's say you want to copy a content of that file. Uh, there are multiple options, uh, multiple solutions that you can go with where you can open something like this and then just do control A and then do control C, paste it wherever you need to. And similarly, you can do something similar. Similarly, you can do that on the um, command prompt as well. Uh, for example, here in PowerShell, I can do, let's see, uh, cmd.exe slash c type, basically just printing the content of that demo text file, and then just uh, piping out that output to clip.exe. So if you do that, and by default, I have Windows clipboard history enabled. So if I just hit window V, you can see it kind of copies the content right so this is another way or you can literally do just type your file select the text and do a right click it copies file uh, it copies the content so these are the multiple ways through which you can copy the content of the file whether it is sql text whatever you prefer but uh, let's take it to the next step and make it more easier to do this task. Um, when I say more easier, meaning let's be lazy. <laughs> so before you do anything, I would suggest to take a backup of your registry because that's where we will be working with. So first thing first, take a backup of your registry. Uh, once you do that, you need to navigate to a specific path that I have, that I have listed here. So for example, in this case, I'm working with SQL files. So computer, hkey class is root, system file association, and dot SQL. When you land there, you may see something like this. Now, for example, if you if you don't see an entry for that specific type, feel free to create under the system file association. And once you do that, it should look like this. So what you need to do is do a right click. Click on new E and name that as shell. So basically using the cell extensions, we are adding a custom entry into the context menu of specific file types. In this case, I'm targeting SQL. So once again, do a right click on the shell, click on the key. Now remember that this is going to be your a command name so i'm going to name it something like copy sql uh, content name that and under that once more create a new key and name it so this is how your structure should look like dot sql shell copy sql content and command so when you click on the command, double click on this default value. And in that box, what you need to type is something similar to the command we just saw on the PowerShell, except instead of giving the file name, you will be passing in percentage one. Now, percentage one represents the file argument. I mean, basically it's the argument in this case, it becomes the file name itself. The file name will be passed as an argument. And it is doing the similar thing. It basically types the file on the command prompt and then redirects the output to the clip.exe, basically the clipboard. Uh, let's give it a shot. Once you click that, uh, once you save that, it should look like this under the data. Now, here is the interesting part. Uh, let me go back to explorer.exe and this is the folder in which I have few files. So let's say I have demo, uh, demo SQL script. 
uh, the file which we just saw if i do right click as you can see it comes with the default options and again this is windows 11 so you may see a different context menu in your case if you are on windows 10 but when i click on show more option you can see i got the new option that we just created in a registry so when you do copy sql content you should see a flash of command window and then the content is already copied how can i confirm that uh, let's go to vs code and again i have clipper history on so as you can see i didn't i didn't do anything in terms of like copying file specifically it just copies the file uh, file content through that context menu similarly let's take a look at another example of text file so let me head back to registry and look for um, dot txt extension it should be somewhere around here yes i already added that um, while i was preparing for this demo so the value is not set uh, let's create uh, let's actually rename this command to something meaningful I think this is good. And command value is set to the perfect uh, cmd.exe slash c a percentage one. Yeah. So I just added the same thing to .txt file as well. And now if I go back to my explorer.exe and if I look at my text files, as usual, nothing is there. But if I do the show more options, you can see copy text file content when you do that it immediately copies the content of that specific text file to the clipboard and let's go back to vs code let's say we have this demo.txt into window v and as you can see it copied the content of um, that specific um, text file let me just try one more time sure why it came back twice yeah it worked now yep so that's it um this is one way to add a custom context menu for specific types depending on what extension you prefer to work with but yeah uh, possibilities are endless uh, you can associate any kind of program uh, as in the command in the register editor uh, you don't have to just do cmd.exe instead of that if you are writing any console application in either of the preferred languages uh, you can do that and then you can have your file passed as in argument to that specific program and then you can do whatever you would, whatever you would like to do with that file um feel free to drop a comment if you think this can be a little bit better and if you know any of this any of such tri tricks and trips uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one